This is gonna be a slow one. It's probably something we'll play every now and again for inspiration. I don't know if you've ever played this game before, but it's such an intricate city builder. And I love the setting. I've been playing it recently by myself and using it as inspiration for our main series. Because the style is very us. Old world, timber, cottages in the forest. Or at least it starts off that way. You can go pretty far in Anno 1800 and end up with enormous sprawling cities and if we stick with it maybe we will anyway welcome everybody to this first episode of Anno let's find ourselves an island to settle down on this is probably going to be a bit of a different series not your usual Anno Let's Play. I'm not, I'm not trying to challenge myself with this one. There's, there's no other AI players. It's just us. With the freedom, the time. The time to take our time. And build at our own pace. There's no rush. This is going to be more of an inspiration series. For our Minecraft world because the models of the buildings in this game are, are so detailed, they're so well thought out that they're excellent inspiration for us so this is going to be more appreciating this game and noticing the details paying attention taking it in and making use of it in our other series. So that sounds pretty chill, pretty relaxing, pretty calming. Grab yourselves a hot chocolate cup of tea. Whatever, whatever you fancy. Because this is going to be a slow, gentle walk through this intricate, beautiful game. Now, let's find a suitable island to settle on. I've turned off the world fog because I, you know, I just want the freedom to have a look at all of the islands. Take our pick. Choose, choose the perfect spot for us to call home. I think this will do us nicely. Seems like a pretty good spot. For us to settle. Yeah, I think this is going to be our starter what? island. Hmm, Orion. Yeah, that's an alright name. I'll leave it as Orion for now. Unless we can think of a more interesting, more fitting name for our flagship. Why, <laughs> why can't I remember how to place the starting warehouse? Why am I being stupid? <laughs> this is not going off to a good start, is it? Come on, Orion. Where's, where's the button? Where's the option? <laughs> Why can't I place this warehouse? Ah, there we go. Build trading post. Okay. Right. I do know how to play this game, I promise. Yeah. This, this, feels, this feels good. I'm probably going to overthink the placement of every single building because that's how I am. And... Oh, that's loud. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, I just want this to be a beautiful city. One that we... One that we... build slowly. Your city has grown more beautiful. Oh. Yes, it has. You're right. <laughs> you make molehills out of mountains. You know what, my friend? You're right. <laughs> you're 
Yes, we do. Now, what should we call our first island? I think maybe... Oars Rest. Yeah, I like that. The place we came ashore after our long voyage at sea. Now, hmm, it's quite daunting starting a brand new city. Get some rest. It's going to be a long voyage. Yeah, okay. Yes, I'm very well rested. Thank you. This is a beautiful game. <laughs> I'm not going to stop saying that, so you better get used to it. When I play games, I'm definitely one who spends most of my time just absorbing the environment. That's why I love playing uh, open world games like Breath of the Wild and I loved Oblivion and Skyrim back in the day. I just love walking around, absorbing the world. Let's move you over here, get you out of the way. Yeah. I think as I've gotten older, I've moved away from challenging, fast-paced, intense, stressful games. I just want to relax. And this might just be my favorite feature in this game. Once you spend hours and hours planning out your city, creating every, every little detail, you can walk around it. And that is just magical. And look at these models. This, this, is why, this is why I'm here. This is why I'm making this series because this is gonna be great inspiration for us. I, I intend to study this game as well as enjoy it. So yeah, like me, I hope you enjoy walking around in this first person view because <laughs> I'm going to be doing it a lot. This is, this is my favorite, favorite aspect of the game. Now, I suppose we should extend up into the forest and start our town. Well, I've managed one road before I had to just go for another walk. <laughs> I can't help it. It's, it's just too atmospheric. Man, look at look at it. Look at this. I really like the idea. I, imagine if we stick with this series and it ends up being a, a long one. We could be walking down the same road surrounded by skyscrapers. Okay, I've started. I've laid out the blueprints. I do I like I like that you can you can pre-plan with the blueprint mode before you before you uh finalize your decisions you know but this feels good i like having the cliff in the background behind the marketplace oh there we go we have reached the age of agriculture nice so here's our first few houses our little town center got the main road back to the warehouse and the shore and the first few cottages tucked in this valley Nestled in amongst the trees. Let's go for a walk. <laughs> I, I told you it'd be a slow one. So, this is all's rest. Oh, oh I guess it's night time. Got my little lantern out. A sample, sir? A sample of what? <laughs> what, have, what have you got for me? Look at these cottages. They're so cute. I love all the life, the details. I, get, I, I know when, you, when we're up close like this, the low quality of the models is more obvious, but I, I don't know, it's, it's a style, it's a style of it, it's quirky. I guess for how massive these cities can get, millions of high poly assets, just wouldn't work. I like it anyway, I, I, think, it's, I think it's quirky. It has its own style, and it works. Okay, so... You a grain of my trust in humanity, eldest. 
You're welcome. And that should be quest complete. We'll be needing more of it to continue. Right you are. Wood. Okay. Our first production chain. These are what inspired me. This, these are the produ production chains that I really liked the idea of and brought into our Minecraft world. And just, it makes sense, you know, the, the idea that you need, you need one thing to acquire the next in the chain. So where should we... Where should we place this lumberjack hut? Probably near... Yeah, probably here. Near the warehouse. Now, I am no expert in the efficiency meta that Anno has going on. So people... There are, there are charts and spreadsheets to get the perfect efficiency with these. But that's... That's, <laughs> that's not how I'm going to play this, obviously. I'm just going to build... Build what I feel like, and we'll we'll wing it. We'll wing the efficiency as we go. Most of the settings are on easy, so this it shouldn't be too difficult. But we'll figure it out as we go. <laughs> it's probably going to come to bite me, but ah, oh, it's fine. Um, where's a good spot for this? All this is one hundred percent, one hundred percent. No, maybe like there. That should be... That should be fine. <laughs> I know, I know it doesn't matter which way, it, but it, it does, it does matter. Because I... I can't not let it matter. Yeah, that's fine. That, that works. Let's make it real. There you go. And... Oh, there's no road, obviously. Um... Yeah, around the back, next to the actual, the actual building. That looks realistic, right? <laughs> I, okay, I know I overthink everything. That's the way it's going to be. Not a lot I can do about that. Just tidy this up. There you go, that's better. Um, what are you doing? Planting in progress, okay. So it takes a while. To plant the trees. That's fine. Well, I know what we can do whilst we wait. Let's go for a walk. <laughs> oh, look at these guys chopping down the trees. I thought you were replanting trees. I'm confused. This looks cool though. Well, you've cultivated quite a thirst. Have you? <laughs> Me too. But, thankfully, I've got my cup of tea. Oh, I like this. I like it being right on the shore like that. Nice and open. I suppose once the trees are planted, it won't be open like this. So, appreciate it whilst it's like this. But yeah, that's cute. Little lumberjack hut. Producing logs. That we're gonna need to saw into planks. If I see another biscuit. Oh yeah, biscuits. That's what I need with my tea. <laughs> Something else I'm noticing is <laughs> see is the is the sound design on this game is really good. Like the, listen to the the nature sounds and all the all the voice acting they must have had to record just to create that ambient immersion. You know, it's really good. Now that I'm just waiting and listening. Now, obviously, I could speed the game up. <laughs> there is that function, but uh, no, that's not how we play it. This is a slow one. I, that was the first thing I warned you of. This is going to be a slow one. We're nearly done, though. Nearly there. And then we'll be producing logs. Our first commodity on our island. I've actually never made it to the end game. Of Anno, and I know there are, there are so many items, so many resources and goods to produce. It's kind of insane, and it's probably because I play at this speed that I've never made it. Um, not enough cultivation area available. It's dropped efficiency. I said I, said I wouldn't care about efficiency. 
But I thought it was 100%. Now maybe the road was in the way. Well, that's fine. We can, um, we can just move it. Move it so that it's 100 again. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's probably temporary. Like, eventually, this, the town will extend down to the harbor anyway, so... It's just a temporary lumber shack. I, I don't know why I care so much, but... How's our little village doing? I think we should extend it out this way. Maybe bridge over the river. <laughs> I do enjoy all the little vocal clips. They're pretty... It's pretty funny. Yeah, this is nice. Down by the river. Nice little... Riverside stroll. That looks like a hand. So we built the sawmill. <laughs> Look at these guys. This is so cool. Sawing up the logs. When I, um, when I built the carpenter's workshop in our latest episode, this, this was inspiration. I just, I'd recently been playing Anna and yeah, it, it definitely helped in the design process. Now that I'm looking at it, seeing more things I could have added, like that crane, and just stacks of lumber. It's, it's the details. The details that make, like, add life add life in this game and will bring life to our our world in our other series well yeah that's the sawmill it's coming along we've got a little bit of industry we're at the very beginning and I <laughs> I appreciate how far we have to go before we truly get into the complex majesty that this game has to offer we'll get there maybe We'll see if you guys are interested in watching this. Uh, I know it's a different... It's a different pace. It's a different style. It's a different game. <laughs> but... I don't know. I think maybe it has a place on our channel. We'll see. Anyway. I think if we do stick with this... The plans for this area... will obviously extend the town down to the harbour, I think. But... I like the idea of keeping our first little village, this first little town in the farmer and worker tier. See, if, if, you, if you've never played this game, uh, essentially you, you upgrade the, the homes. But I think I want the higher tier homes up here on the cliff. I think that would look really cool looking down over the old town. And there's more space up here as well. We can we can get a bit more of a not a full city yet, but a big a large town. You know, I think it'll look really nice having the the artisan buildings up here looking down on on the old town. I said that. <laughs> I just repeat myself. It's okay. Anyway, that's that's the plans just going forward. But we've made a start. Got our little village going. It's looking good. I really like our valley we've chosen. So we need 50 farmers in order to unlock the fishery and unlock the next stage of production. So let's... Let's add a few more cottages and increase the size of our little village. Just, just, a, just a touch. I don't want to progress too far and build too much in this first episode. But let's uh, let's build the bridge over the river like I talked about. I think maybe next episode we'll extend we'll extend that way across the stream towards that mountain. I think having buildings along the river will give a certain aesthetic to our village, to our little town. Um, let's connect this up. 
Mm-hmm. Maybe not. Maybe not completely straight. I like it when the roads are just a little, a little off. I don't know if you've noticed in my Minecraft series. I mean, assume, assuming you've even watched my Minecraft series, you might be just. This might be the first video you've seen of mine. But anyway, in in our Minecraft series, I try to stay clear of straight lines and straight walls and straight anything. I I, I like more organic shapes and. It adds more character. And I know that the Anno building system works on a grid structure, but it can still add touches of character here and there, bends in the road, or it doesn't have to be a boring grid. We don't have many ornaments unlocked right now, but let's have a little, a little signpost at the end of the, the road from the harbour. Maybe a, a washing line at the back of that cottage. Yeah. Yeah, that's cute. I know when you get to the later game that there's whole sections of, of little ornaments you can add around the city, but at these first stages, there's not a lot. But we'll add touches here and there. Yeah, that should be enough houses to get. 50 farmers and complete the first the first little stage and allow us to build the fishery maybe we'll maybe we'll add a few more little ornaments around as as lackluster as our selection may be maybe a little wagon yeah Oh, I should add a wagon in our town center in our Minecraft world. Yeah, <laughs> I think I'm going to do that. Um, anyway, let's have a little look around, because we haven't done that yet. <laughs> oh, this is nice, though. Looking out over the bridge. Are they buffalo? Bison? Don't know. But yeah, I like this. I like a bridge. Water calms me. Don't know about you. But let's see if we can find any more inspiration. Let's take into our, our other series. Mm. Yeah, flower pot window sills. That could be something. Science, road science. Yeah. Oh, this is wrong. <laughs> the harbor is not that way. I'm going to have to fix that. I, I know it doesn't matter, but I'm going to have to fix that. Obviously, I have to fix that. <laughs> Just spin around. Yeah, this should be right now. Let's have a look. Mm, yeah, harbour that way, city, eventually that way, town, and the hills. Perfect. But yeah, signs, that is something we could use. I suppose, yeah, I suppose right now we don't have much in the way of signing toward. We've only got one village, and that's, that's only half done. But it will be. We'll have places, eventually. We'll fill this world and that one. And that'd be so cool, having two long-running series. Maybe one day. Anyway, how's the... How's the farmers coming? We need one more. One more farmer. Where... Where, where are you at? Why are you not... Why have you not moved in yet? <laughs> Come on, fella. Just need one more. Hmm. Oh, there you go. I guess uh, the game moves as slow as I do. But now that we've got that, we can build the fishery and feed our people. Feed them all with fish. <laughs> I mean, there, there's, there's other food stuffs eventually. Bread and cakes and chocolate, I believe, at some point. There's, there's so much, so much to this game. But yeah, there you go. Fish and wood productions complete. And I think that's probably all we'll do for now. But I think one last walk. 
One last walk before we go. Just have a little look at this fishery. See the details. Give our attention to the the little things that someone's bothered to design. That's what I like thinking about when I'm appreciating a game. Someone someone designed this. Someone put thought probably researched almost certainly researched in a game like this. Put thought put design and it's just it's just nice for someone to notice <laughs> you know I'd, if I'd have put all this effort into designing this fishery and this fishing boat and <laughs> you want to slow down um is that guy just walking on nothing yeah I think he was anyway oh I haven't connected it with the road yeah, I know, I know. Silly me. There we go. Well, that's it. That's it, guys. I think that's all we'll build for today. It's We're at the very beginning. We barely dipped our toes in. But I like where we're at. I think it's a, a nice taster of what this series would be like. We're taking every care good yeah it, it's it would be a lot of me appreciating this game and a lot of me slowly taking my time deliberating of pointless things that don't matter but allowing them to matter because why not why not make little things matter and move at a slower pace where you can appreciate the finer details I don't know guys, that's that's me, that's how I like to play it, if you, if you uh, seem interested in watching, then maybe I'll make a second episode, maybe we'll keep going with this, because there's still so much of this game that I've never even experienced, I've, I've never gotten far enough, <laughs> I take too long, so it would be nice, it'd be really cool experiencing that with you guys, what this game has to offer. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know down in the comments whether that was boring or relaxing or maybe a little bit of both. Either one's fine by me. Take care, guys. I'll see you next time.